guys welcome back to the channel daughter of increase my name is Nate Denise for those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith God Christ and expanding the kingdom of God today's video is going to be a sort of faith plan with me if you will um, I'm just getting my morning started as far as like my devotionals it's 10 43 a.m. in the morning I took my son to school around 8 30 and um, I stayed till about nine because he had photos today. He um, had, yeah, photos, and I wanted to be there when he took his photos. So I stayed with him, came home, then I cleaned up a bit. I um, made me some tea. This is definitely tea. You guys know I've been raving about this tea like forever. It's the pumpkin spice tea from Bigelow. Oh my god, this is so good. This is literally like my coffee every now and then. And I have pumpkin spice creamer mixed in here and it is just so good. Ooh, still hot. But um, I have some crackers here and then I have something that my fiance put me on to, which is cookie butter. I ended up buying this because my son is not allowed to take any type of nut products to school. So peanut butter isn't a go. And he doesn't like soy butter. So he does prefer um, almond butter. But I can't send him to school with that. So I'm, I get almond butter for the house. But I normally buy sunflower butter. And then um, we've been trying out the cookie butter. And the cookie butter is so good. So I'm going to have some of this this morning. You will hear a few sounds in the background. I have my diffuser on right now. And I'm just having some tea tree oil going. And that, just because um, my son has a stuffed up nose and I've just been mixing eucalyptus with um, peppermint a lot and decided this morning to just pop the tea tree oil in. So you might hear that in the background. I apologize. I also do have my TV going, which I'm going to actually play. Oh, it just cut off. If you guys give me one moment, I'm going to play. But I have a playlist on... Um, my YouTube which is public I've made public and it's called ambiance music and I've noticed that I have to listen to this type of music now when I'm studying because when I listen to gospel music I'm lost in worship and never get my work done or it takes me forever just to do something that shouldn't take me more than maybe 30 minutes 45 minutes so I have this playlist which is available I'm actually gonna leave a link down below I need to edit that um but yeah it just basically has like natural sounds i guess nature sounds i mean um so you have like the ocean waterfalls and these are actually like images of the ocean moving images of waterfall waterfalls some piano ones but i don't really play those as often um but yeah and then lately i've been getting into like the sherlock holmes kind of rainy day sounds and stuff so i found a few of those with Sherlock Holmes, library sounds where it feels like you're at the library without being there. Coffee shop sounds because I do like coffee shops. Um, so I just have a bunch of them. Right now I have on my TV, I have the 5 hour relaxing atmosphere, beautiful snow going right now. Because it just, you get the fire crackling. Let me just show you guys quickly. Once this ad goes. Skip survey. I hope you guys can hear that, but you can actually like see someone actually recorded this in like a cabin and I kind of like stuff like this because it gives me that cozy vibe and it allows me to focus even more so on, um, you know, what I'm doing at the moment. So I'm basically just going to walk through with you guys how I do this. So let me just fix this back on the fire stick because it turned off. <laughs> So 27 videos in this playlist so you guys can definitely check them out they're very great um some of them are an hour long some are five hours some are eight hours so they're great for just studying but um i have my glasses on already i have my bible which is obviously the uh nkgjv spirit filled life bible from thomas nelson i also have the thompson chain reference here so I have two aspects to my Bible journaling. Let me just turn this up a bit. Hopefully you guys can't hear everything too much, but I apologize ahead of time. So I have two aspects to my sort of faith um, planning, faith journaling, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I guess faith planning. Um, you guys know that I have the Recollections Faith Planner here. And let me see if I can get this to focus more. Sorry about the glare. I'm going to move that in a second. 
but um, you guys know I have that one and then I have this one here which is kind of like the happy planner but it was the Walmart um, my glam planner that they came out with so I use one for actual planning and then the other one I use for scripture writing so this is the one that I've been using for scripture writing and I am gonna do a whole like flip through video once December is over because I've been in this now since um, August I believe so I've really been diving into the scripture writing so I have that so we're getting to that and then we also have this like I said which is where I do my devotionals let me show you guys in a week here set up so I am going to start off with scripture writing first so let's just move this out of the way and get my Bible I have so many things out it's ridiculous my tables if you guys could see them they're so like unorganized and in a hot mess but we're gonna work with it so I'm gonna open this up to November here so I decorated last night um, I felt like I just wanted to go in and decorate yesterday let me get this to focus so um, I just kept it kind of simple with gray navy blue a little bit of um, gold here it's kind of like a bronze and gold purple with the unicorns and then this like skinny washi here which is like not lilac but it's a nice purple with gold foil um, I just I don't know I just wanted to play around with this washi tape really so I just went around that so I normally just take out the page that I need which is this one I just love that sound um, right now the wind is blowing in the video so let me just turn it down a little bit okay I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab my sticker books so I have the original Faith sticker book, and I know they have the new one out, which is the Faith Warrior. I want to get my hands on that so bad because that one has rose gold um, foiling within it, and they're so pretty. So um, I still have this one. This is the old one. Um, here is the sort of new one that I have. I have the American Crafts Faith sticker book. The mini version of the Faith Stickers from Happy Planner. This one here from Paper Studio. This one is also from Paper Studio, but this is from their Agenda 52 line. And I really haven't even gotten into using these a lot. Um, don't I have others? Hmm. Yes, here they are. And then I have the Carpe Diem and then the larger... Uh, Agenda 52. This one is a Sunday foil. This one is just a regular faith. So I have these because I like to decorate as I go along. Okay. So I'm going to see if there's anything in here. I don't think there is though. Well, maybe I can use these. Okay. So first thing I want to do is just place some stickers down that kind of go with the theme that I'm going with. Um, oh, but that's a long sticker. I don't, I don't get to use this one as much just because, um, not a lot of the colors get used, if that makes sense, like when I'm planning. I really love these, like, marbled ones with the gold foiling, really pretty. Yeah, I'm probably not going to use this one again. Yeah, okay, so we're just going to put that to the side. Um... Let's just figure out what the scripture for today is. How about that? So, I am doing the scripture writing plan with Transform Through God's Word, um, my sis Angela's group. And the plan is the So Very Thankful scripture writing plan. I, I write it here and then I write the scriptures on the days. So, um, today is Psalms 107 verses 1 and 2. So, let's get a sticker for this. Um, and this is my Webster Pages box. I've had so many planners. Um, Webster Pages, Color Crush Planner, I have a Day, day, day Designer, I've had Happy Planners, so many. Um, but I just keep like a bunch of random stickers in here to use. So I'm not sure what colors I want to use. Um...
I'm just kind of look trying to look for a sticker. Hmm. Okay, maybe I can go with these here. So, I'm going to use these. But I'm going to have to cut them along the line. So, I'm going to grab my X Acto knife and a ruler. And just cut along the line. And it's not always perfect, but um, close enough is fine with me. Okay. I'm going to put these on the purple colors. Stick them here. Get some of my tea. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm just going to do this page for now, and then I'm going to take these two purples for the um. And I'm just going to write the scripture here. So the pen um, color that I'm going to be using for this week to do all of my like devotional stuff is going to be this Pilot G2 in this kind of um, metallic purple. I just felt like using that one and I always use the Paper Mate Ink Joy um, gel pen in .7 in black to write like the scriptures down as well as my personal thoughts at their space. So again, that is... This pen is like running really low on ink. I gotta get the other one out. 107 versus 1 through 2. Okay. And I think I want to put a sticker here and here. So. I all. I also have this quote sticker book um, from Mombi, so because sometimes they do have quotes that you also will find inside of the uh, faith sticker book. So as long as it's inspirational to me, I will use the sticker. I like this. Stay curious. But I don't want it to clash with this pin. So we're going to have to do blue stickers, probably. I'm going to use this to bless to be stressed. And stick it. That's not smart. <laughs> that wasn't smart at all. Let's do it this way. I want to make sure it's not on the hole. Okay, so we have the two blessed to be stressed. I probably shouldn't have put that there though, but whatever. Um, let's see if there's any other sticker. This is the Carpe Diem Faith Tablet. Um, this is the larger one. They do have a mini as well. I like the words, and I'm going to use these when I get back into prayer journaling because I've been slacking on that. I like this heat as my anchor. But it doesn't quite match my colors, but you know what? I don't care. I'm going to use a sticker. And I'm going to stick it down here. Can you guys see that? Yeah. Okay. Again, I apologize if it's too much noise for you. And I'm probably going to stick one more sticker in this area. 
Let's look in here. Now, these sticker books from Agenda 52, I really love them so much, but I don't find that I can use them quite often when I'm doing my uh, scripture writing. I find that these are more so for, like, specifically faith, plan like, planning in your planners or journaling. That's where I see me using these. But um, let's see if I can find one. Like, I've used a few of them in my planner. The church ones are really cute. I've used one of those and one of those. Mm. don't see that I can use any of these today. Yeah, I can't use this one. What about this one? I could probably use one of the purple looking ones. I just, I like this one so much and I want to get a backup because it's so cute. All I need today is a little bit of coffee and a whole lot of Jesus and rose gold oil. So cute. I think I'm going to go with this, but pray first. Might do that because it's a mix of this kind of like purple with that blue. So we're probably going to go with that sticker. Let's see. Because I kind of think I like the way them, the stickers flow together in peace. Um, yes, 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 yes. We're gonna go with that one. Yep. So, but first, pray. Eyelashes, as a makeup artist, I love it. <laughs> it's so cute. Question is, do I want to put it more up or more down? Let's go more up. But I kind of like the bows. Hmm. I'll put it here. We'll stick it there. You know, there we go. Okay, so I have it laid out, and I know that's a lot for some people, um, but that's just the first portion that I do, and then I go in to the scripture. So, Psalms 107, and let me close this up before I cut myself. Let me open this, because I'm kind of hungry. kind of hungry, and I don't want, like, food food, which sounds weird, so I'm just going to take some of this on some crackers. I have some, uh, what are these called? Club mini crackers, which are like really buttery. Oh, that's delicious. And then I have some animal crackers here, so. I apologize. <laughs> Okay. You guys can't see that, can you? So down here, 107, it says, Thanksgiving to the Lord for his great works of deliverance. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hands of the enemy. So I am just going to write that scripture. So I have Psalms 107, verse 1 through 2, written down. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he has redeemed from the hand of the enemy. I have that written down, and I really like that color. Now, I always go in with this black pen, gel pen, but I'm probably going to use a regular black pen, just because the ink is running low, and I don't feel like climbing to get the other one. <laughs> so, um... Now I just write my thoughts, write a prayer, anything concerning the scripture. Um, sometimes I'll write down definitions to words if need be. But um, this is mainly talking about giving God praise for uh, deliverance. So that's what I'm going to say.
Okay, guys. So, here we are. So, like I said, I um, wrote out the scripture in the top with the purple pen. And then I went in with a black pen. I normally just write down whatever comes to mind. Um, it took me some time because I didn't want to keep this basic. Um, when I'm writing these thoughts down, I don't like to write down the basic thoughts, if that makes sense. Because then I feel like I'll, I'd be repetitive. Um, I try to stick to what the scripture is about after I understand the context so I just wrote that I should continually praise him for deliverance then I said father you are a good God a great father and protector you are phenomenal I thank you for always coming to my aid I will share my testimony so others can see your everlasting love amen and um I wrote that just because it it, it talks about how he's redeemed us from the hand of our enemies and um you know how his mercy endures forever so i just felt that was something to write so that's just the scripture writing portion so now i can stick this back inside actually what i'm going to do now is write down the scriptures for the next few days well for tomorrow at least so tomorrow is psalms again 69 and 30. just gonna stick this back inside so I decorate as I go so this is that okay the next portion is using my recollections so I have this journal this is actually not the first journal I filled up doing this I have other journals that look kind of like this um, that I filled up and I normally just do whatever reading plan devotional reading that I'm doing on the Holy Bible app so let me close this out I'm going to open up the Holy Bible app on my phone and you guys can definitely add me um, on the Holy Bible app here is my profile don't know why autofocus is on but there it is just search Nay Denise and you'll find me um, you know, my streak so far were, my streaks were good, but then there were like a couple of days that I slipped up. You guys can see that best 212. Yes. Yes. But then I slipped up, missed a couple of days and then it had to start over. So I try to stay up on it. I like that. But right now I am doing a new plan and, um, it's called finding God in the ruins, how God redeems pain. And it's by Matt Bays. And I just thought that was so phenomenal. So I'm doing this. It's seven days, I think. Yeah, seven day reading plan. Um, so that's the one I'm doing. So I basically just read through the devotional, take notes on what I'm reading, write down the scriptures. And um, I will read the scriptures on my phone, but then I'll like read through them quickly and then go t into my Bible to read them again more in depth. So I'm going to start off by dating my page like I normally would and in this journal I just use three pens um, I use two of the paper Mate ink joy gel pens these were the first two that I purchased before buying the pack so I have these and then I use a blue ink pen so today is the 26th this plan So anytime I start a new plan, I write out the title of the plan as well as the person who wrote the plan. Because I always like to remember who wrote a specific plan. And then I write the scriptures that will be read. So... So the scriptures are Ephesians 1 through 7, Psalms 37, 5, and Titus 2, 14. Okay, so now I'm just going to read, take notes, and um, yeah.
guys, so I read it through. I read the scriptures. I watched the video. These are the notes that I got from it. So I'm going to put this to the side. Put my phone over here and grab the Recollections Faith Planner, which I've done multiple videos on this already, so you guys can check it out. I'm going to flip to the week we are in, which is here. And um, here's the setup. Same color scheme, if you will, with uh, the unicorn washi tape here. This is that navy blue with the um, bows, the gray, purple, and stuff. So the same setup. So... I need a sticker, another sticker to put <laughs> the verse, obviously, because I always forget that. So, we'll get to that, but the I'm going to write two scriptures down. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So, I'm going to first fill everything out and then come back and show you guys, uh, walk you guys through, I guess, how I did it. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Um, so, basically, I wrote down a few of the notes from what I wrote down into the actual planner so I can close up the journal and um, this time I wrote down both Ephesians 1 7 and Titus 2 14 I just had to squeeze them into there so I both I wrote both of the scriptures down and these stickers here are from sorry these lavender stickers I got from like the Aaron Condren stickers that normally come in the back of the planner I had a bunch of those still so um, I wrote both scriptures and then I wrote down a few of the notes. So I put that God owes no one anything. Just because I am chosen, he will not deliver on my time. Redeemed does not mean the removal of pain. John 16 and 33, basically, which tells me that trouble is a guarantee. And I can find God in the ruin of my life. I checked off that I prayed. And this week I'm grateful for. I need to write something that I'm grateful for today. Um, I guess the freedom of prayer, if that makes sense. And what I mean by that is that, like, that I'm free to pray at any time, anywhere, however I choose to pray and however I want to pray. I can speak it, I can write it, I can think my prayers, I can do it standing up, laying down. You know, I, I like that I have freedom because not a lot of people have that opportunity to be free with their prayers. So I wrote that. Um, and then on this page, we have my sort of habit tracker. So today is Monday, so I did devotional. I did gratitude. I apologize if you guys hear my brother. Um, intentional prayer, which is basically me, by, um, prayer journaling. I haven't done that yet. Bible study, I have yet to do. Reading, I have yet to do. So I check those off as I go. But, um, that is pretty much how I do my devotional time, you guys. I'm going to do a full-blown routine video. Um, but I just wanted to do a video like this so you guys could see, you know, what I do in the mornings. <laughs> so normally I do this about like 6.45, not 6.45, 5.45 in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. This is what I would do. <coughs> so that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, let me know. And of course, I will have them um, a little bit better. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for this video and I'll see you guys later. Bye.